Hello, I'm Natasha Baldio and thank you for joining me on this well-being webinar. Today we will be looking at the gut and exploring what to eat to maintain a healthy gut. You may be wondering why Organic Apotheque focuses so much on gut health. The reason is that an unhealthy gut has the biggest impact on our health and immunity. The gut also has an effect on the appearance of our skin. Now, acne, inflammation, eczema, as well as rosacea may all be related to the gut. So let's explore this marvelous ecosystem that is found within us all. Living in your gut are hundreds of distinct bacterial species. This mix of gut bacteria is called the gut microbiome. And within this gut microbiome, some of the bacteria may be harmful and cause disease, while many of this bacteria is actually beneficial to us. Research studies suggest that several diseases are influenced directly by the gut microbiome. These include cancer, autoimmune disorders, multiple sclerosis, autism spectrum disorders, and various other physical and psychological complexes. Recent research also shows that the gut microbiome is linked to COVID-19 severity, as well as your immune response to this virus. It was found that the gut microorganisms in COVID-19 patients were very different from those in uninfected individuals. Dr. Xu of the Chinese University of Hong Kong had found that COVID patients lacked a certain type of good bacteria known to regulate our immune systems. Furthermore, there was a presence of abnormal gut bacteria or dysbiosis. And this abnormal gut bacteria persists after the virus has gone. This could play a role in the long lasting symptoms experienced by some individuals. Now, Dr. Sue recommended a gut clearing and special probiotic treatment to resolve COVID symptoms. Compared with patients on standard care, her pilot clinical study showed that COVID patients who corrected their gut microbiome achieved complete symptom resolution. This therapy also significantly reduced markers for inflammation in their blood, increased favorable bacteria in their stool, and helped patients develop neutralizing antibodies to the virus. Now, to clean your gut and grow healthy gut bacteria, please join our Gut Cleanse virtual weekend retreats, which are scheduled throughout the year. Details can be found on the Organic Apotheque website, as well as our social channels. The gut microbiome also strongly interacts with drugs used for both physical and mental health conditions. The microbiome influences the efficacy of drugs. There is a growing number of researchers looking into the gut microbiome and its role in drug metabolism. Now, the gut bacteria produces a range of enzymes, and these enzymes may chemically alter many different drugs, from uh, psychotrophics to cancer treatment. And very often, these enzymes can render these drugs less useful or, or cause them to lead to more side effects. Now, furthermore, a number of drugs could be altering the balance of the bacteria within the gut as well and disrupting the digestive system or causing other health problems. In 2018, researchers screened more than 1,000 drugs marketed for various conditions against 40 strains of human gut bacteria. They found that nearly a quarter of these drugs had antibiotic effects even though they were not marketed as antibiotics. And in 2019, another team found that 271 drugs that were exposed to gut bacteria were metabolized to such an extent that the level of the drug dropped by more than 20%. This makes that drug 
less effective. The gut microbiome has such a large effect on drug and food metabolism that many researchers are asking for the gut microbiome to be seen as a virtual organ in its own right. The gut microbiome is also linked to mental health. Evidence suggests that low diversity of gut bacteria is associated with mental health conditions such as schizophrenia. Researchers at Microbiome Ireland show that it was possible to essentially transplant a mood disorder. What they did was wiped out the native microbiome in rats by using antibiotics, and then they transplanted into those rats a dose of gut bacteria from people who were diagnosed with depression. When the rats got the transplant from depressed patients, their behavior was significantly altered. This shows that the microbiome can affect mental health. Researchers have also found that some bacteria can synthesize neurotransmitters, such as dopamine or acetylcholine, as well as precursor chemicals, such as tryptophan. Now, tryptophan is used to make the mood regulating chemical serotonin within the body. In fact, some good bacteria, such as the bifidobacteria, are capable of synthesizing tryptophan. Hence, the gut microbiome may have positive effects on our moods as well. Now, after understanding how important a healthy gut microbiome is for both mental and physical health, researchers have begun fecal transplant. This means transplanting gut microbiome from a healthy individual into those with disease. But we now know that this is not as simple as it seems. You see, the selection of bacteria present in each person's gut can be very different from another person. Our gut microbiome differs from person to person. My healthy gut microbiome is really different from yours. And what's healthy for me may not be healthy for you. This also means that we have very different genes that are involved in our metabolism. You see, the various species of bacteria in the human gut have 150 times more genes than the human genome. So when we combine the genes of the bacteria in our gut with each person's genome, the difference in what we need to eat to be healthy varies even more. It is for this reason that diets that work for one person don't necessarily work for others. Researchers are therefore very keen to understand how to change the makeup of the gut microbiome to ensure that it is healthy. Currently researched are fecal transplants, the strategic use of antibiotics, and dietary changes to promote or discourage particular bacteria. For now, gut cleanse and dietary changes to promote the growth of healthy bacteria are showing the most promise. This will be discussed later. When it comes to diet, recent research shows that meat consumption alters the human as well as mouse gut microbiomes. Results indicate that meat consumption promotes the growth of bacteria that intensify inflammatory bowel disease and decrease the levels of bacteria that metabolize fiber. Short chain fatty acids prevent metabolic and other diseases, and they are produced in the gut from the bacterial digestion of fiber. Another important area of studies compares raw and cooked food and their effects on the gut. Results have shown that raw potatoes affect the gut very differently from cooked potatoes. This is because the cooking process changes the carbohydrate composition within potatoes. So this area of research highlights the importance in food preparation and understanding how cooking food alters the chemical composition of certain foods. As the amount of research accumulates in this field, 
It seems that dietary recommendations are the best way to improve the gut microbiome. Adjusting the type or quantity of food eaten is an important intervention. It is the simplest way to improve health. But it's important to understand that there isn't one type of healthy gut diet for all. What we need to do is understand our bodies and create a diet plan that works for each individual. So today I'm going to share with you a simple three-step process to improve your gut microbiome and maintain gut health. Step one is to do a gut cleanse. Now there are multiple ways to do a gut cleanse, um, the strategic use of antibiotics or the flushing of the gut. Now Organic Apotheque hosts gut cleanse weekends throughout the year. We do not use antibiotics, so we don't kill off all the bacteria in your gut. What our cleanse entails is flushing out your gut using salt and water. And this cleanse removes all fecal matter, congealed fats, and most bacteria. Step two entails reintroducing pre- and probiotic foods that encourage the growth of healthy gut bacteria. By eating correctly over the week following a gut cleanse, you will grow good bacteria and limit the growth of bad bacteria. Step number three is to eat right for your body type. We know that our bodies and gut microbiomes are unique. Hence, our diets need to be personalized to support our unique ecosystems. To understand what your body and gut microbiome needs, you need to keep a food diary. A food diary helps you understand how food impacts your health. And based on your food diary, you need to choose the foods that have positive effects on your gut mood and energy levels and leave out the foods that impact your body and gut negatively. We have created a food diary template. This will help you track your food consumption. To download this template, please go to the Organic Apotheque website. If the food diary method seems tedious, then Ayurveda has a solution. I recommend taking an Ayurvedic dosha or body type quiz and then following the appropriate diet plan based on your body type. Because our bodies are dynamic and change constantly based on environment and season, it is recommended that you take the body type quiz every quarter and then you adapt your diet based on the results obtained from this quiz. There is a link to the body type quiz on the Organic Apotheque website. Due to the importance of growing and maintaining a healthy gut microbiome, Organic Apotheque has teamed with iYoga and various gut health experts to bring you gut cleanse virtual retreats. These are held throughout the year. In these 48 hour at home retreats, you will do an intense gut cleanse and this will be followed by a plan and workshop that encourages the growth of healthy gut bacteria. For more details on these gut cleanse retreats, please go to the Organic Apotheque website. Following on from the gut cleanse weekend, we recommend using a food diary or Ayurvedic body type quiz to help you understand your body and what it needs to stay healthy. In our next webinar, we will be taking this further by exploring self and body awareness. Thank you for joining me on this webinar. If you like this, then please hit the button. If you want to stay abreast of previous and upcoming webinars, then please do subscribe to this channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next webinar. Thank you.